Welcome YouTubers to another video review. Sorry my channel's been inactive uh, the last week. I was in Orlando, Florida, but I did upload a bunch of videos. I'll upload some more. But I'm finally home and I got tons of new statues coming in. Uh, got ECC Pennywise that's sitting for me as my mother-in-law watched the house. I got like six statues coming in tomorrow, two on Friday. So we're gonna have tons of epic unboxing and reviews here on the channel. So make sure you do hit that little like icon, the bell icon to get notified of all the new content. I am super stoked to bring to you the ECC Pennywise maquette. I've not found a single YouTube video yet in regards to the production piece. There has been pictures surfacing, but no videos yet. So the box was triple box, believe it or not. Came with the COA. It's had an art box that was covered in a white box with styrofoam around another brown box. So extreme protection. And here is the main piece. So we're going to go ahead and open up this bad boy. So you're probably wondering, why would I go with this instead of Prime One Studios? So there's actually a few reasons why. If you look at this setup here, I have the one third Reaper and Bust and I have a Pennywise. If I was to put a half scale, it would look completely out of place. I need bust one third, bust one third. So that's reason number one. Reason number two, ECC comes with acrylic eyes where Prime One does not. Granted, the half scales do have very well painted eyes. They're still not glass. And something that's a half scale should have glass eyes. So that's one reason. ECC is coming with glass eyes. It's supposed to come with acrylic teeth, but I do know collectors have gotten it and said it does not. Now it's been some QC issues, no doubt. Seems like in general, the consensus says ECC has gone downhill over the years. Here's the one fact. They charge about 2.5 more for their one thirds than a prime one statue. Now, my one-third Reaper is my favorite one-third statue. I do like it more than any Prime one, one-third. I think it's better quality. It just looks better. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see what that $2,700 got. All right, I got to show you guys this so you can see it better. It's always hard to see. You know, I don't have special camera equipment i want to just show you sorry about this so this is what we got we got this base with the grass the grass actually seems similar to my other grass on my bust base you got pennywise right here the two heads the balloon hand something right there i think instructions the hand holding the wire so yeah Let's go ahead and set this bad boy up and see what we think. I'm gonna go ahead and move this closer so we can get a good angle. Of course I got sick on my vacation. That's now two for two sick on vacations, by the way. I swear it makes me wanna curse off vacations so sick of going on vacation just to get sick. It drives me absolutely crazy. Base is definitely one of the heavier portions. Balance this bad boy out. Okay, there we go. Now this will definitely fit nice where I want it. Difficult just to get the bag off. Okay. All right, so here is the base. I'm just going to put it here to see real quickly how it looks. Because this is the plan. Oh yeah, as you can see, it's perfect. I'll put it up there later. Of 
course, we got to set the statue up first. So, here is a booklet regarding the statue, how to set it up. So we're going to go ahead and take out Pennywise now. There we go. I'm definitely gonna have to. I want this to match my bust as close as possible. This was actually one piece, but it looks like it's two. Because I've always seen people display the water and it never looked flush. Water looks great, though. Seems to be pretty even on mine. Although, yeah, I need to put this first. Like that. All right. And then the water goes on it. Like so. good. That looks good. So far I'm liking it so far. Looks really good. Although the face is going to determine a lot. I have very high hopes for these faces, especially when you're paying this much money. So here is this hand, which simply goes inside his garment. Very tight fit. So tight it doesn't even freaking fit. Okay, you're going in. You're going in. in. Boom. Let's take out the regular head. So they've wrapped it in this thing. Definitely gonna have to fuss, fuss with the hair. Let me just try to quickly make this look better. Let 
I honestly want it to match my bust to a T. So I'm gonna try to style the hair exactly as my bust has it, which is, I think, really well done. Face depth, it looks really good, I will say that. Glass eyes look excellent. I'll have to fuss with this hair later. I'll fix it in the full video review. We're just going to get the statue fully set up. Alright, so here is a hand with a wire. Uh, which is going to be the balloon hand. One thing I worry about is how tall this is going to be with the balloon if it'll even fit in my shelf. I know I have a, a lot of space there, but I'm thinking I might have to remove the bottom hilts to get this to fit. Which sucks, but if I have to do it, I have to do it. Make sure the magnet's not caught between clothes. It is a good strong magnet, no doubt. Just gotta make sure the clothes are in there good. Alright, next is the balloon. The balloon is extremely lightweight, no doubt. Very light. There's just a little hole in here, so you can really even display it how you want. Like so. Now, let's check out the additional head. Because uh, it does come with an alternate portrait, which you can actually display beneath the base. Uh, so I'll determine which portrait I want to look at. Let me I'll walk around and show you guys this one. Definitely going to need to fuss with this hair. Alright, check that out. Pretty freaking sick, right? Yeah, definitely got to fuss with this hair, fix the garment, and then get this set up right there next to my Pennywise bust. So let's do that. Alrighty, YouTubers. So I have got Pennywise all set up here on top of my stuva. Now, previously I had legs at the bottom like that, but because of the height of the balloon, I had to remove those legs. So that kind of sucked, but it is what it is. I can't do anything really about it. So there it is, next to the bust and the Reaper one third in bust. So you can just see how this looks. Looks really, really cool, no doubt. So let's check out the base first. So you have this cement looking base all throughout it. It's a gray with lots of different shading and textures all throughout. It is a quite a tall base as you can see compared to all my other ones. So it's a tall base that looks at least six inches tall. I'll measure this for you guys. So you have this grass effect, very similar to my uh, Pennywise right there uh, base, but a grass effect right here, you know, like the fake grass. And then this is the sewer entrance. You got this water. Yes, yeah, so the, ba 
the base is quite big. Uh, width wise, it takes about 17 inches of space, about seven inches tall. And it's very cool, no doubt. It's, you know, a great looking base. I love how it has the grass. I love the concept of putting the additional head underneath in the sewer, which is a really cool. So you're creating more or less two seams. Uh, currently I have the regular head on him. You have this IT logo with blood draining out of it and the water effect looks very well done. Although it does not sit flush like that, you know, as you can see, it doesn't sit flush, which is kind of disappointment. There's also a noticeable gap here. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that or, you know, it seems like you can move this. But overall, when you're looking at it like this, it looks really well done. So I definitely like the base, the Georgie boat looks great. Let's get a close up of that. Great looking Georgie boat. Now, I do love this water effect. I think it's very well done. The grass looks excellent. Not as long as the bust one I have. That one's a little bit longer, but it's, you know, life size. So let's check out Pennywise. Here is his feet. Clown boots. You know, he's obviously in a clown costume. Great weathering on the costume. There's shades of gray, yellow, white. You know, and you can adjust this to your liking. So if you want to fluff it some more, they did put what feels like padding and then legs to make it poof out more. And then here is the three little red things. One thing I noticed on my bust, this is like white, like a dirty white, but this one it's you know, gray. It's slightly different from the costume, but I think this actually is more accurate to be honest. I still like my bust face sculpt better, but I do think ECC did a very good job on this face sculpt. Let's check that out. The eyes are glass eyes. You can adjust the hair to your liking. I currently got it like that. I think it looks pretty good. I'm trying to match my bust. You know, I just want them to have the exact same look. So, I've even tried the scary head yet. I'm gonna try it here in a sec. So, as you saw in the unboxing, you know, his hands are separate, and then the balloon attaches at the top. It's very lightweight, and it's like a metal rod, so it's very unlikely that it will, you know, probably bend in the future. So it's extremely lightweight with a metal rod. The balloon looks good, has a darker portion at the bottom. Let's see here, it is quite a big piece. Now I have seen the Jason and Freddy in person. I still think I like this better. I, I would say these two are probably two of the best one thirds by ECC and Marcus and Lycan. Those are the four best ECC maquettes that I've seen in person. I love the Marcus and Lycan. They're just so expensive that it's not gonna happen. So this is my probably, yeah, definitely last ECC statue I'll own just these three, the bust, Reaper maquette, Pennywise maquette, and that is perfect. I love it like that. As you can see, that Pennywise has a great presence. He is very big. He's about 37 inches tall to the top of that balloon, so he's a very big statue. Let's go ahead and check out the alternate portrait now. Alrighty, so here is the scary mask portrait. Hair is much different on this one. It's more just like wild looking. Uh, this is the ravenous look. So here is that face. Very, very cool looking. Love how they incorporate two heads. I will say it is quite difficult taking the heads in and out of that. When they did it at Monster Plus, it looked very easy, but the way they actually produced it, this and this are two separate pieces and the head is a very tight fit. So it is quite difficult to do the switch out portrait. So I'm still undecided on which head I wanna display. I like them both quite equally. You know, I love the classic Pennywise look, but I do have that on the bust. And the way my Reaper is, it's two separate looks. So the I do like having two separate looks as well for the Pennywise. So yeah, I do think both heads are extremely well done and I love how you can display them both with the statue. That's a very unique concept to this statue alone. I've never seen it on another statue uh, where you know they incorporate it into the base. You know, there's the usual like this where they just have a little stand, which I still like as well. I love when they do that. But ECC definitely did a very good job. So conceptually, I think this is an amazing statue. 
They did a really good job. The pose is classic, you know. Uh, the one thing I like better about this pose versus the Prime 1, uh, the Prime 1 balloon is more directly in front of the face. So it, the balloon actually covers a portion of the face, at least the string does, where this one does not. So that's one thing I do like better about this one. I do think ECC is still very overpriced, no doubt. And I know this was supposed to include acrylic teeth. I can't really tell per se if this is acrylic or not. Apparently people say it's not, but it does look extremely good. No doubt, my eyes look phenomenal. Definitely better eyes on that than my Reaper. And my Reaper was just painted, but they're extremely well painted, but it's not glass. Looks almost glass, but it's not. Yeah, it's definitely a freaking amazing statue. I'm very, very happy to own it in the collection. I think this just made this display that much better. My little horror top shelf with two just amazingly cool statues and busts, so. Overall, I'd give this statue a 10 out of 10 now. It's freaking amazing. I know some people are dogging it on Facebook and whatnot, but that's only the people who didn't buy it. Probably because they couldn't afford it. Now, I'm sure Prime 1's going to come out amazing, but here are two facts. Prime 1 is going to be such a space hog. 44 inches to the top of the head, to the top of the balloon, you're probably looking at 55 inches. That is ridiculously big. Second, it doesn't have glass eyes, where this does. A half scale should have glass eyes. In our day and age, where there's so many statue companies out there and so much competition, statue companies need to up their game. Although I do think ECC in general is going more downhill, where a few years ago they were considered the elite of the elite, where now they're just viewed as a, you know, like it's still very good, but they're, it's not perfect. And they charge, you know, one and a half to two and a half X what the competitors charge. The thing is, this is the only one-third Pennywise out there, and it probably will be the only one-third. So if you truly want, you know, just a one-third, this is your pretty much only option. I also heard that they're only making 150 of these, uh, which is really low ES. I know Prime 1 is about 500, but still, 150 of these, uh, I could definitely see this going up in value. You know, Pennywise is such a cool, iconic character, and... Definitely plan to watch the movie, uh, It Too, later. I was a big fan of that movie, loved it. But yeah, this statue's freaking awesome, I love it. Let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe, have a great day.